Okay, so here we've got, I put the uh, power distribution board in. And get a look at so this board down there. The battery Velcro's onto the bottom. Which I'll probably zip tie it too because I don't really like that Velcro. It doesn't really hold this battery very well. It's a 4S battery. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a pretty hefty battery. Uh, so I really don't trust that Velcro to hold it in. I mean, it's it's not going to just fall down, but it does slide back and forth a lot. So that could be an issue. So I'll probably put a, a, a big zip tie or maybe a piece of wire or something that goes around like this to keep it from sliding back and forth. But uh, anyway, so here you can see the wires. This is for the uh, front speed controllers. The wires come in and they got the bullet connectors here that connect them. This one here. Uh, this set here. That is what goes to the gimbal, which is attached to the top rails. Uh, and then the back ones come up through this hole. They come out. And I actually drop back down and run out the back over to the speed controllers. These wires here are the wires that go to the flight controller, which is what tells the speed controllers how much power to send to the motors. So, uh, anyway, the speed the power comes into the speed controller and then comes out comes back up through here goes inside these arms all the way out to the end and then comes up to the motors this wire here is that one that was on the the very end of the solder joint this is what's going to power the uh, uh, flight controller and also if I need to later on I can make a splitter that will attach to here and split it off to where I have more wires to power something else if needed. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to need to do that. It's possible. Uh, on my flight controller, it has its own power module that I've soldered bullet connectors onto, and it's got uh, there's a five volt out that goes to the power to the flight controller but it's also got a 12 volt out so I may end up using this uh, if I had to add something on that requires 12 volts uh, to my GPS module uh, yeah that's what I got done so far uh, it's gonna have my 11 inch props that will be on there, these are 11 fives, carbon fiber, uh, Hobby Kings, the only thing I, well of course I haven't used these yet, but uh, they seem to be pretty much perfectly balanced right out of the box, but I did notice they've got some chips on them, can't really see them on the camera, it won't focus very well, I'm just using an iPhone. Uh, but on the edges they're kind of chipped up a little bit just in certain spots not the whole thing but uh it probably won't affect anything uh, just you know they were not the cheapest ones in the world I mean those were eight dollars for a pair so they're basically four dollars a piece so they're not really super cheap when you consider that it's typically you're gonna break quite a few of them so, but I figured go with carbon fiber. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is a carbon carbon fiber frame. It's an Alien uh, Force. I think it's a 460 uh, Hobby King. Uh, I I really do like the frame. Uh, so far it. Uh, didn't come with any instructions. You have to look the instructions up on their website, which wasn't a big deal at all, except for the instructions are pretty poor. Uh, 
So I used the instructions plus a YouTube video, uh, which wasn't the greatest YouTube video on the assembly, but between the two of them I was able to figure it out. But anyway, uh, so that's what I got so far. Uh, I'm, it's getting pretty late, so it's probably about all I'm going to do today. I uh, should be able to get it the rest of the way finished tomorrow. Only thing is I'm still waiting on my radio. It, it, I had to send it back because the one I got didn't work. And uh, so I sent it back. They got it yesterday. The new one is in the mail as of today. They sent it out this or this afternoon. Uh, it said it should be here Friday, which if it is, I'd be surprised because that's only two days shipping. So that'd be pretty impressive. But uh, we'll see. It's going through FedEx. The last FedEx shipment I got was like three days late. So we'll see. Uh, also, just while I'm at it, uh, to make sure you use some of this blue uh, Loctite. It's a thread locking. Uh, this is like an off-brand uh, Pure Matrix. But anyway, you want to use some of this on pretty much all your screws. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have any at the time when I put this together. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'll start pulling out screws one by one and putting just a, just a tiny dab on each one. Because the, the props, whenever you get the motors going... Uh, if your props are even just a tiny bit out of balance, the whole quad will vibrate uh, at a high frequency vibration, which over time will uh, rattle your screws loose. So you don't want a motor to go flying off when your quad's, you know, thousand feet off the ground. So that probably would end badly. If you get a camera, I mean, that'd be an interesting video, but probably don't want to lose, you know, thousand dollar quad or you know, however much three hundred dollars four hundred dollars whatever you're flying but uh anyway so that's what we got <laughs>